Greetings and salutations. This is just a psychic and in front of a space in. Hello! It's not, it's. Hello! Hello! There we go! If you watch our early videos, you will actually find that he's got a very squeaky voice. Yeah, I know. He's really squeaky. In fact, I thought I'd bully for that stuff. Did you? Yeah. Oh, that's so sweet. But then people learn that's bullying me. Yeah, I know. You shouldn't have done that thing with the brick. <laughs> that, was, that was bad. Um, anyway, here we are with our painted. Um, Alamo. Sorry, if you're watching our videos for the first time, we've sort of just jumped straight into it. So, uh, what does everybody think of my lovely painting? Hang on, um, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Right, we are doing a project of the Alamo. We're going to build the Alamo in 28mm scale. For those who have not watched the other videos, please check back the other videos. Oh, I've watched the film. Others? This is not the film, this is, this is a model. This looks exactly the same as the film. Yeah. And this is basically the Alamo painted up, or the Alamo chapel painted up. Uh, I said I'd do a video when it was painted, and it's painted finally. It took a bit of time doing it, but it's finally been done. Let's hear about your painting. Yes, what do you think of my awesome painting that I did all this building in? Yeah. yeah I, I did all the textures, your painting. patterns, your painting. and the, I cut from bricks, making them look like actual bricks, and yeah. I curved it all out to make yeah. it look like it's been in your attack. I think I did really well. Yeah, I don't remember you actually doing anything on that. Um, I seem to remember you walked in on day two and said, no, oh, it's cool, and walked out again. Mm. So here was... Did you even say that? <laughs> that's basically it. That's all you, you know, said. That's that. all you said. It was cool. Well, I've done the Alamo, look, it's no, here. No, I say it's amazing. Yeah, it's better that No, way. that was after I finished the actual whole model. <laughs> yeah, you got bigger words. Yeah, bigger words, yeah. Um, so, I went for a colour scheme, I've gone with a, um, I undercoated the bricks in brown, <coughs> get to it, um, these are the bricks here, obviously, um, I did those in dark grey, then dry brushed it over with light grey, and then dry brushed it again in white, which gives it that sort of brick effect. I know a lot of models of the Alamo that you see lying around, if you just type it into the internet, you find hundreds of them. Um, they, they tend to use browns and stuff for the bricks, but I just thought it might look cool with grey because otherwise it looked like everybody else's. And that's a good thing. Yeah, yeah. Um, also, the um, front is oh sorry, or the entire model other than the bricks is painted with a very light brown, then dry brushed over with a. Uh, bone white, which is a, a sort of off, off white colour, and then dry brushed again with brown to get that. Took with white, sorry, uh, to get that effect. Um, taking a look inside it, that's so cool. It is quite cool, isn't it? Um, that's 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 a, a lone Mexican soldier. He's already one you see. So have a look all around. Uh, taking a look inside, you can see I've done the interior in a light blue because I just thought it looked quite cool and I thought it looked all right so that's what I've used it for and I'll just spin around and show you all the bits that are done there's the back door that was bricked up so it doesn't matter uh, that's the rear which was never actually attacked but there were three guns in there just in case you needed them and around the side and um, this is where the next part of the Alamo goes so that's basically the entire Alamo. Oh, sorry, the entire Alamo chapel, not the Alamo itself. Um, so that's a quick rundown of uh, what I've actually done inside and everything. Um, there are actually some doors inside, if you see down into there. Uh, there are some doors inside there which I was going to do them removable. Uh, the rules are removable, but I decided not to in the end uh, because no one really actually used them. Um, the rooms on this side, no, sorry, the rooms on this side were actually used to hide uh, the women and children who were hiding inside the Alamo. Uh, whereas this building at the back here was the ammunition store. That's where all the powder was, um, which is interesting. What did they try to do at the end? Try to blow it. Yeah, which would have killed all the women and children. Yep, but he, cut, but he failed anyway to blow it. So yeah. he didn't have. Santa Anna got all the ammunition. 
and then the Americans captured it all back again when they defeated Santana. So it worked quite well. Santana basically took the, 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 the powder with him and, and so the, basically the Americans didn't have to go to the Alamo to get it, Santana brought it to them. Which is very nice of him. They didn't have to waste any time. Well, no, no, no. Why are you saying Americans? You mean the Texans? Texans. Sorry, I keep saying Americans when I talk about this. Yes, the Texans. They were not American. The Americans didn't want any part of this. The American government didn't want any part of it because it would be expensive going to war with Mexico. Um, they did end up at war with Mexico in a big way, though, um, they, and they took about half of America off the Mexicans, like California all the way down. This there. is where the empire fell. The Mexican Empire. Yes. It, well, the Mexican Empire wasn't really an empire. It was what was left over after the Spanish had left. Well, Santa Ana was their version of Marius. Okay, I could kind of see where you're going with that. Should I rebuild? Make it, make it, make Yeah. Make Mexico great again? That's a Trump, isn't it? It's like about to cling on to Trump, Trump Emperor Marius. Yes. I see where you're going with that. Um, so we just had the election. Um, if you if you if you haven't been living under a rock, I think everyone will understand <laughs> the election. You can't avoid it unless the whole world's been under a rock. Yeah, obviously we've just had an election. Duh. Uh, yeah, yeah, good kind of good point, sort of. I, I, I do see where you're going with it. Um, yeah, because Mexico was pretty messed up as a country. Yeah, and Santa Ana. And Santa Ana was he elected a dictator? He did he seize power? I know he's. Actually, he was a dictator several times because he got deposed and then became dictator again, and then deposed and then became. And I think yeah, Marius came back like a like a like yeah. A Marius did the same like a cockroach. Yeah, he, he, um, we see the Marius or Sulla. Who would you pick? Um, Sulla, greatest Sulla. Yeah, he hmm. killed half the population of Rome. <laughs> um, bring back Marius. <laughs> just, you know why can't we all just get along? It's not pacifists. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Um, so anyway, the, the yeah, um, no, so I think for Mexico, Santa Ana was probably a good thing. Um, although he may have been a, a little bit tyrannical, a little bit, a little bit. But then again, the previous governments hadn't been that good either. Um, he was, yeah. LinkedIn. Although, as someone commented on our last Alamo video, um, Mexico had already abolished slavery. So technically, you could not legally own slaves in Texas because Texas was part of Mexico. So if you were, if you had slaves and you moved to Texas, your slaves by law were no longer slaves; they were free men. Which is another thing some of the new Texans didn't really like because they kind of liked having slaves. We never had it here in slaves here, did we? In Britain, no, slavery has always been illegal. Yeah. Um, it's, it was it was officially made illegal at fourteen was it fourteen hundreds might have been earlier than that or fifteen hundreds uh, law was passed banning slavery but um, we didn't have slaves before then really anyway no. yeah but just in case there's certain people who hid their like, American people going on holiday with slaves oh no um, well actually that did happen um, it didn't get slaves were, uh, get, get given the papers and letters. Yes. Yeah, yeah um, okay. people from all over the world would send ambassadors to Britain and we would immediately free the slaves and go into them. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to England. Slaves use your papers. Yeah. Have a nice day. Yeah. Welcome to England, uh, ambassador. You may come with us now. Yeah. Um, and you better ride yourself. Uh, the last time was the Saudi Arabians in. That's one of the Saudi Arabian uh, ambassadors came over with some slaves in the early mid 2000s. Uh, so by law, he'd broken the anti-slavery law in Britain, but that's like a thing they do in Saudi Arabia anyway, it's just a hellhole. Um, but anyway, um, yeah, so Santana freed the slaves, so some Texans were kind of annoyed that they weren't allowed to free. Oh no, Santana didn't free slaves, it was actually the Mexican government that voted to free slaves. Um, and. So there were quite a few Texans who didn't really like that idea. And yeah, there, there was lots of reasons behind the rebellion though. I mean, there were a lot of uh, Tejanos who were Mexican, uh, Spanish, Spanish American, uh, Spanish Indian descended people who wanted to be free from the rule of um, Mexico. 
Hmm. When you have a really big empire, you tend to find the bits on the edge tend to want to break off and do, do their own thing. Uh, Texas had a brilliant future as an independent country, and had it not joined the United States, or had it been had the Confederacy won the American Civil War, there'd never been an American Civil War. Texas would would be one of the richest states um, after um, New York and California. Probably. I'm sorry, just quite rich. Well, I'm just trying to think. I'm, 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 I'm trying to think how it would be if. if if the Civil War wouldn't have happened. There wasn't, didn't um, Florida vote Trump? Yes. Just. That's shocking. Yeah, that was, that yeah, was it. Just, just, just. I really didn't think that would have I, I did either. hear that there was, that the, the Trump supporters were considering if, if they'd have lost Florida, they would have just sawn Florida off and let it float away. <laughs> <laughs> I saw someone talking about that. Let's get a big fracking, of just frack all the way frack, around. Frack yeah. Florida and <laughs> blow the end up. Yeah. Um, but apparently they won, so that's, that worked out. So well. the packs were the fucking machines. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, um, so according to your analogy, um, America now has either Santa Ana as its leader, or Marius. Actually, dude, um, if you're watching, you might not actually know who Marius is. Um, I assume you you know gaming. Look back on our videos. Yeah, look back on our videos. Uh, <laughs> Marius was a. As does it possible? Have like a thousand videos of yeah. him now. At the end of the Roman Republic, no, really. what really finished the Roman Republic off was this constant fight between Marius and Sulla, and uh, we are actually getting some Roman Republican Romans, twenty-eight mils. Um, we'll be doing a boxing video soon when we've got them, and we'll sort that out. And so we'll go a bit into the history of that soon. Um, but it is a brilliant period of history, and if you read it, it's brilliant. And if you uh, look on Audible, or, uh, uh, or yeah. yeah, you can get the complete history of the Roman Empire for free because it's all one lot. So I tried to find HP Lovecraft. There's how many? I know, no, no, don't. It's horrible. Don't tell much horror stuff at all. Yeah, two fairies, two fairy books. Yeah, it's mon. It's it's not. I mean, it's got they've got a bit of history stuff, not a huge amount. Not, not sort of a lot of stuff you'd be interested in. Why would a historian be looking on <laughs> audible.com? It's free. I have anything that's free. It's, well, it's, free, not, it's not free though. You get one book for oh, free. Oh, it doesn't cost much. Anyway, you've always got YouTube as well. So if you have a look at YouTube, there's always stuff on YouTube. Yeah, it needs to be looked at all yeah, the books. There's loads of stuff that's out of copyright that's on YouTube you can listen to for free. So. You can't watch movies though, like really, really old movies are. Like, I can't watch No, because man. they're still owned. The printing rights to them are still owned by the... Oh, the, the viewing rights are still owned by the, um, the company, the, 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 the so what about Warner what Brothers about or Sony made the company still crash. The no, they still own, still own the film, so they own the rights to the film. So they can technically make a DVD of it, meaning they own the copyright to it. So you can't print a video of a video, a video of the film, because that would be, added, that would be copyright infringement. Mm -hmm. So you can't, uh, you're not allowed to do that. You can put clips and stuff on, uh, which is under fair use terms. And we don't do that because we just do these annoying history videos where we show you the models and stuff we've made. Look at this, it's awesome, look at it, look at it. Leave in the comments how awesome it is. Yeah, yeah. and that's all we do in our videos because we're quite boring. Um, but, you know, some people add clips and stuff to their videos. We could do, we could have a little clip of a Roman going, ah, or something. No, you did just embarrass me on the internet. Yeah, I did. That was funny, that. Yeah, the video before this, I walked into the kitchen and he was... I thought he was having an epileptic fit. <laughs> I couldn't do he it. He was having some strong seizure and I thought, oh, I'll get the camera, this is funny. And, and I just got the end of it. Which and What were you doing? You were trying I was to trying to do a handstand, handstand. But I was too scared to go fully up. No, it looked like you were actually throwing yourself on the floor. <laughs> I did the end and I got on all you. You, you look weird. And then I looked up and I saw you doing cameras going, ah. Yeah. Um, anyway, thank you for watching. Uh, this has only been a little video to let you know the uh, how the Alamo is progressing. Um, we do have some figures and stuff coming. I know I asked people to write in and let me know what you thought of the, where, where to get the figures from and stuff. We will do another video on that later. Um, and we have the rest of the Alamo to build as well. This is just one tiny, tiny piece of the Alamo. There's a whole lot more to come.
And I've now seen the farm. And it's all in 28 mm. millimeter. <laughs> so this is going to be fun. Thankfully, the, the ammo was fought inside. Yeah, so we'll do all the fighting inside because <laughs> it's so big it'll just swap the table. <laughs> yeah. Um, so thank you very much for watching. And now he, the, sm the sidekick, is good. Actually, no, you say thank you very much for watching because you open the video. No, I, you are a nervous... And I'll do the outro. Uh, do the outro, do it then. We'll do the other way around. Do it. Right, you say thank you for everyone for watching. Thank you everyone for watching. This is being in Proud for Space and being no. awesome and cool no. and amazing. I'm being Proud for Space. Being trusty psychic. psychic. Being right. trusty psychic for being amazing, awesome, cool, handsome. Yep, so awesome. please subscribe and leave any comments in the comments bar. Um, That's not how I say it. Is you, it? Can, you can follow me on Twitter if you want, but <laughs> I wouldn't recommend it. Um, oh, I don't really bother with Twitter anymore. Um, I have got a Facebook account that I don't know how it works, but I put some pictures on it, and so I think that's quite cool. He's called the YouTube name. There you go, that's a clue. <laughs> yeah, just look up Imperial Out of Vespasian, and you'll probably find about 10 of us <laughs> because I'm not very good at creating things on the internet, and I probably created 10 accounts by accident. <laughs> um, but that's it. I uh, hope you enjoy. Uh, over to him. Oh, God. That was, that was just the first. <laughs> that was so bad. Well, I'm not doing it again anyway, you are. <laughs> That's everything from me. I'm everything from him. Goodbye.